And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new deck. We're calling it Feel the Ramp. That's just a fun name to say, I suppose, but this is going to be Trundle Aurelian Soul Ramp. So you, you know all about that, but new card, Feel the Rush is going to be our top end card, kind of like War Mothers, but we're going over to Targon because I really wanted to pair Feel the Rush with Aurelian Soul. So let's take a look at this card. If you, if you haven't seen this one yet, we played it earlier with Teemo Ezreal. But this is summon two random champions from your hand and deck, raise their stats up to 10-10. Now, when you only play two champions, you'll just get one of each. So it's not really that random. So basically, this is going to be put a Trundle and a Rillian Soul into play and raise their stats up to 10-10. All right, so the reason why I really want a Rillian Soul in here, I know that a Rillian Soul is already a 10-10, so you don't get any kind of bonus there. But this is just like one of the best champions to have in play. It costs 10 mana to play it. So 12 mana is not really that much different from 10. So, you know, like you're, you're basically casting, um, you know, for Feel the Rush, you're basically getting your value from Aurelian Soul, but then you just get a free 10-10 at Trundle also. But of course, getting two 10-10s, that's 20 power. So all you had to do is have five other power in play when you cast Feel the Rush, and then you were going to be leveling up your Aurelian Soul you'll still, you know, round start, create your celestial, random celestial cards, uh, even though you don't get the play, you know, invoke one. But you can, you know, be pretty easy to have leveled up Aurelian Soul from that point, which seems really powerful and seems more powerful than at Trindamir. So I wanted to put those together here. Um, besides that, you know, like we're just going to be playing some other dragons, because the dragons are pretty awesome. Play a couple sunbursts for removal, um, you know, star shaping, doing some more invoking and nexus healing. Um, you know, just, just other, just regular old ramp cards, you know, for our Targon, for El Yord. And Trundle's not the best target for Field of Rush either, but, um, Trundle's just what you always want on turn four in these ramp decks, right? Like, you want turn three ramp, turn four Trundle. So that's just too important. Trundle's just too good. Um, plus, whenever you have leveled up, uh, Trundle, it'll be a 10-10 to start with, and, you know, I guess it'll level up to a, an 11-11, and... So that should be pretty good with the Overwhelm. Uh, I, I definitely considered, instead of playing Trundle, playing Braum in here. Because Braum being a 10-10 could be really cool. Being a 10-10 challenger, like that that challenger regeneration as a 10-10, like that could be pretty crazy. Um, but, decided, but you know, Trundle's just too good, so we're just going to play Trundle. But maybe, um, yeah, maybe a different deck, maybe more meme tier deck. You could have Feel the Rush with Braum. That seems pretty awesome. Um but anyway, all right, let's 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 give this a try. We're going to go play our five games over in Ranked, and let's see how we do. All right, looks like we got Ezreal Karma. That should be a deck with plenty of denies for Feel the Rush. I don't like it. I like triple... I like triple ramp card and Sunburst take out their champions. I'll just keep the Sunburst. Have some removal because both their champions are so important. And we'll go triple ramp. It takes a little bit, like it, you can't like change them like super fast. It, you have to wait like a little bit before you can change it. Awesome, got our payoff. So leading with Weirding Stones because then next turn we'll have 8 mana and we can go Weirding Stones and Catalyst. So really hoping they don't have Deny. Pass instead of playing Catalyst, so I could have Troll Champ protect this. Okay, just in case they would have had Mystic Shot. So now if I go Catalyst, we'll have Field of Rush next turn. You know, obviously I can Trundle and Catalyst, but then we won't have um, we won't have the three spell mana at that point or Field of Rush. Yeah, Deny is going to be one of those things that like they got it, they got it. Difficult to stop. We'll go Trundle. 
Yeah. So I'm thinking hopefully Trundle's a little distraction and... So no, no Ice Pillar into Eclipse Dragon this turn. I do want to go with the Nightfall Eclipse Dragon. I think I'd rather do that than the Daybreak. Oh, also I, sh I should be trading. All right, good thing we healed that Weirding Stones. Yeah, we don't need Dragon. Yeah, don't need Dragon's Clutch with Feel the Rush. The Dragon remembers. So yeah, they can, they can challenge the Ice Pillar. <laughs> That's how it is. But we'll go Eclipse Dragon with Nightfall. Yeah, like they have to have just a bunch of stun stuff. That's how they would deal with it. Within my grasp. If Feel the Rush resolves, they'd have to have a bunch of stun things. I can just cast a Rillian Soul also. You can't really deal with me just casting. matters which one of those I take. I take this like really big elusive that's hard to deal with. Yeah, like the cosmic rays could could exile Ezreal. Yeah, we can we can kind of just play around deny, right? By just like taking by just continually taking like big threats that can't really deny. Alright, you're not attacking. Yeah, Will of Ionia, that card's good. They are at four. Still can't have leveled up Karma yet. I think this is... I'm kind of planning on just playing a couple of Sunbursts this turn. They do have the mana for playing Karma plus one Deny. the best possible for them. And now we'll kill Karma with this. The dragon remembers. Because with Karma gone, it's gonna be difficult for them. It's gonna be really difficult for them to like kill me with the 18. We got all this other stuff now. Um the main question is do I wanna <clears throat> do I wanna play anything else before attacking just attack like this. Because they could have stun, stun. But if I play like a Rillian Soul first, they could play Karma. But if they play Karma, they only have four mana. 
We can't really have stun stun with four mana. This makes it a lot more difficult for them. They do have karma. Peace begins within. They've had the best cards they could have here recently. Uh, but it's just four mana. So they could have Steel Tempest, Steel Tempest, and then block with Ezreal. And then... Okay. <clears throat> kind of need that. And then they need like a new Ezreal next turn. Wonderful, as have I. Playing against some scouts. Um, we're gonna mulligan Sunburst also. That's kind of slow. Yeah, just mulligan all of those cards. Alright, Troll Scavenger just a 1-3 right now. We'll see if that changes by next turn. We, of course, do not have to lead with Troll Scavenger. Okay, no, we will. I'm actually here. Okay, so no sharp sight. Maybe we should attack with this Troll Scavenger first. Okay. Wouldn't have been surprised if they blocked with Sithria and gone for the challenge, but, you know, it looks like they are trying to take out the Weirding Stones. Okay, we're just doing that. Love ya. So we're only gonna have seven mana. You know, six plus the one. So we can't have Catalyst and, and Kindly Tavern Keeper. Guns Fortune level up is pretty scary. This misfortune level up is real scary. What well, if they just have repost also? So I was debating on the you know, like what do we do like catalyst this turn or or this but I, I think this is the best play of this next turn now we catalyst and kindly tavern keeper we have to have eight mana next turn so we have to cast catalyst Jesus is rough though these woods belong to us. That was a great Relentless Pursuit, getting two extra attacks. Valor plus Relentless Pursuit was game winning. All eyes on me. And there's the sharp side. Man, great hand. GG's. OK, 
Okay, playing against War Mothers. So we'll see how Field of Rush competes against War Mothers. Obviously, it's going to be all about ramp. Get rid of these. They're not ramp. All right, we got three ramp cards. Now we just want ramp and then Field of Rush and Aurelian Soul at the top end. Avalon. Okay, so we could Trundle on four. But if we go... We go Weirding Stones on three, Catalyst on four. So we will play Catalyst here. Next turn we have three plus seven. So yes, we have 10s. So we do get to go Trundle and Catalyst also. All right, just looking for Aurelian Soul and Feel the Rush right now. Looking for Aurelian Soul and Feel the Rush. I would have kept Aurelian Soul or Feel the Rush in the opener. Who would have had either one? King of Trolls coming through. I'll knock him dead. Enticing to play that sunburst. I don't want to play Mind Splitter and then they play Ruination. I want them to act first. Like maybe they play Trindamir and I Mind Splitter and stun them both. Feel the rush, Aurelian Soul. Dang. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't mind them playing Trindamir. Wanna sunburst Trindamir? Try turning our luck. The trolls are going to war. All oh, right, I don't have an eight drop <laughs> anymore. I smell a fight. I'll knock him dead. This is gonna be All right, there we go. Got a really soul. I played I played this troll scavenger because it was free, right? Because like we had the um, five mana that we weren't using, so they do know that I just drew something that costs eight plus mana from that attack. I did tell them that, like with you know this being a one three and then this getting plus one plus zero. Right, so just obliterate yourself. Go ahead. You can obliterate yourself all you want. See ya. Alright, what do we get? 
guess the Scourge. Yeah, probably the Scourge. I and you, you and me, we'll rule the world. And I thought humans were stupid. We fight for one Freljord. Living Legends could be good. My, how they stare. Smashing! Get ready for a beatdown. Nothing's tougher than a troll. I think they're still going to be winning this, though. Like, Warm Mother's Call over the long haul. Still looking great. It's obviously, like, one atrocity. We're dead. Um, you know, frostbiting. Trundle would be really bad for me. Alright, still dead to atrocity. Not really hiding it. I don't think that's the best way for us to win. GG's. Both had the ramp, but they had the payoff. All right, Plan V Scouts. Scouts looked pretty rough last time we played against Scouts. Looked pretty rough. We'll try this with the Feel the Rush to turn on Troll Scavenger. So we'll have turn two Troll Scavenger, turn three Kindly Tavern Keeper. Go towards the Trundle. I like the Troll Chant. Basically going for like the slower hand. Doesn't have the ramp but has the interaction, and then we have the payout. So we have interaction and top end to turn the corner really fast card. That fits really well. Perfect. Yuck. Always misfortune. I guess I always have trundle, so. So we're going to try to save both of our trolls with this troll chant. Should be good flavor. Troll chant, save tr two trolls. That keeps their protege alive. So I think I kind of want to just go right to attacks. Um, I guess that's worth it. Where's my one? We hunted for you. Oh yeah, Bannerman. Bannerman. I mean the. Show you the sites of Bilgewater. The sites are fine. Even, the yeah, I guess on the other hand. Quinn also. <laughs> okay, right. maybe this, maybe this wasn't worth it. Yeah, maybe this wasn't worth it. Let's take this outside. This will not take long. I got you in my sights. Five. We got both their champions in play. Slow down, will you? Come on, you big grouch. I don't know if this is a good avalanche. I don't think it is. Here we go. I can't block with Tavern Keeper anymore. So my plan there was to, you know, block, and then my next turn I was going to star shaping my trundle. That was my plan was star shaping the trundle. 
I didn't really want this to happen. I wanted to be able to save Ice Quake to kill this misfortune. So we could... Spacey Sketcher could find the 2-1 Challenger. That could challenge Misfortune and then Avalanche as well. I'm just... So I want to play the, the Spacey Sketcher. I just don't know what I'm going to discard. I guess... So Ice Pillar is the obvious thing. But I do really like having two Ice Pillars to block. I kind of feel like it's maybe a Star Shaping. Like I won't have time for Star Shaping. Like the second Star Shaping. Okay, so we didn't have... Smashing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Didn't get the 2-1 Challenger card I really needed. I know I'm setting into another repost, but I'm not expecting a second repost. Very scared of a rally. A rally is definitely game over. I'm glad no rally, but I also just don't need don't need that extra two mana. Okay. I didn't even realize you could do that. Just like hunting pressure geese. On this board. That's Captain Fortune. Not killing Trundle. Not yet. I can cast the Supernova and get rid of the Quinn and the Misfortune. But then they could have backup Quinn or Misfortune. I think we just do it. Now, the problem here is they can they can kill my Messenger. And if they do that, then this doesn't resolve. I'm just going for the highest upside. We are... We're weak to a lot of little things. Basically, them having a removal spell for the 2-2 or more Misfortunes. But good. Now Quinn won't level up at least. Okay. I could probably take three. Awesome. Very good. No, it's 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 a resolve as well. Like, I've got your back. Um, so yeah, it's both activation and resolve. You're in labs now. The behold part with the celestial card. You're covered. Bow to your king. One smack will do. Zero. Alright, GG's. Back to Scouts. Well, we're one and one against Scouts. I don't like this matchup. I think that we got real fortunate being one and one so far. Not sure what, what I'm doing with the Spacey Sketcher yet. I don't think I'm gonna just play it on turn one. Like we're gonna pass, but I'm gonna keep it in case, you know, in case we need it. Well, now it's pretty obvious that we can get rid of one of the, the two troll chants.
possible I should get rid of the, the third ram card, that other catalyst. Yeah, the Crescent Strike could be pretty good. Whoa, no misfortune. I love it. Please, no misfortune. Yeah, hopefully no misfortune. Alright, using that on defense. No. So I'm, I'm planning on going Catalyst and Troll Chant. That's my plan. Let's see what we get. We have what seven mana? All right, maybe I should have discarded the other catalyst. All right, I guess we're playing night or daybreak dragon. Maybe we draw a really soul, and it will cost two less, and that'll be good. But obviously, I like nightfall dragon more. Let's take the daybreak. You're covered. This would make more sense to stun the three one. So Sharp Sight kills these either way. I guess that's fine. You know, Sharp Sight, Repose, that kind of stuff. Kills the dragon either way. Back to back. Put us down to three. Not dead yet. Aurelian Soul. I don't know if Aurelian Soul is that great to play right here. Alright, so we gotta feel the rush next turn. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to heal my Nexus 3 or heal this Eclipse Dragon 3. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to heal the Eclipse Dragon. Break their spirits and their swords. Leave your tracks in the door. I guess maybe it was the Nexus, wasn't it? Yeah, y'all are all saying Nexus. Um, definitely how this played out now, I wish I did Nexus. Because I was planning on, I was planning, I was like, all right, well, we got four blockers. You know, I, I Nexus heal six, but now I forgot we don't have four blockers. We have three because of that. Yep, so that needed to go to the Nexus. That probably just cost me this game. Yeah, we look pretty dead. Why did I just play the Weirding Stones right here? Why did I just play this card? We're still dead. You know, play Weirding Stones. Why did why did I play it? I was I was planning to, and I just kind of passed. And as I was talking about saying that I looked dead, and I didn't play it. Sometimes talking and playing, and you just <laughs> put, yeah, just do the wrong thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, should have done the the Nexus there. We may have been able to. You know, we don't know what was in their hand, of course. But we may have been able to stabilize there. All right, but anyway, there we go. There's Field of Ramp. I think the Scouts is going to be kind of a tough matchup. We did play against it three times. We went 
one and two, and that's what I'd kind of expect out of three matches against Scouts is going one and two. Like they have they have some cards that are really good and really good against us. Um, Avalanche being our our main removal spell there, but Feel the Rush looked pretty good. We got to cast it what zero times, so looked pretty good. Um, but let's see, Aurelian Soul is just awesome. You know, Aurelian Soul is still still awesome. I don't know. I, I think the deck felt felt just fine. I want to play it a little bit more to kind of have some more um, more thoughts on it. Troll Scavenger looked really good. Like that was a, a great two drop to have in here. The Troll Scavenger that was a, definitely a card that made a difference. Yeah, didn't get to show off Feel the Rush, and sorry about that. But that's just kind of how how the games go. You know, want to just play five games, show you how they they go. But um, Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.